Hello friends. Welcome to my new Java Enterprise Programming Tutorial Series video. Today, we will discuss, how to set initialization parameters in Java servlets through, at the rate web init param annotation. Moving ahead. Friends. Many a times there is a requirement to set initialization parameters for a servlet in order to initialize certain values. Servlets can accept any number of initialization parameters, and there are a couple of ways in which they can be set. In this recipe, we will see how it works by defining it through at the rate web init param annotation. Let's move ahead to NetBeans 8 and see how to set initialization parameters for a servlet through at the rate web init param annotation. Friends, in order to create a servlet, let's create a web application. Right click on projects tab and go to new project. New project dialog box gets open. In the categories list, select Java web and select web application in the projects list. Click next. Moving ahead. New web application dialog box gets open. Enter the name of the web application as application 5. Click next. Server and settings section of the new web application dialog box gets open. NetBeans 8 comes with a Glassfish Server 4, we will select Glassfish Server 4 as the server. Choose Java EE 7 as Java EE version. The context path of web application is, slash application 5. Click next. Moving ahead. It asks us to select frameworks. Just click finish without selecting any frameworks. In projects tab, application 5 gets created. In order to create a Java servlet, go to application 5 root, right click new and click on servlet. New servlet dialog box gets open. Enter message servlet, in the class name text box. Provide a package name, here it is com.hubberspot. Click Next. Configure Servlet Deployment section of New Servlet, dialog box gets open. As, in this tutorial, we are going to set initialization parameters through, at the rate web init param annotation, we will not define servlet definition in web.xml and keep checkbox as unchecked. Click Finish. Message servlet gets created in the source packages, under com.hubberspot package. The message servlet has at the rate web servlet annotation on the class level. This annotation has various elements which configures a servlet. Name and URL patterns are already configured. In order to set initialization parameters we will use an element by name, init params. This init params accepts a list of initialization parameters. This list is configured through at the rate web init param annotation. Let's provide it at the rate web init param annotation. Now at the rate web init param annotation, has two elements name and value. Provide name as user and value as hubberspot. Thus it creates an initialization parameter for message servlet with name as user and value as hubberspot. Moving ahead. Let's see how we can access this initialization parameter and use it. Here. A servlet is configured through a servlet config object, which is associated with each servlet. In servlet lifecycle, servlet container injects it through init method. Using, this.getServletConfig, 
we can access to instance of servlet config associated with message servlet. Moving ahead. Servlet config has a method by name, get init parameter. This method takes in a name of initialization parameter and return back value associated with it. Here, if you see, in at the rate web init param annotation, we have configured a initialization parameter by name user and value hover spot. We store value of user initialization parameter, which is hover spot, in string variable value. Moving ahead. Let's print value of it in response HTML. We will output hello value in the h1 tag for this demonstration. Moving ahead. Let's go ahead and run message servlet. It starts Glassfish server. It builds and deploy application 5 on Glassfish server. It then runs message servlet on web browser. It prints hello hover spot. Thus it printed value of initialization parameter through its name, which we configured through at the rate web init param annotation. So friends, go through this video two to three times so that, how to set initialization parameters in Java servlets through at the rate web init param annotation concept gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give one minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com.